Hey friends, it's Rosie and in this video I'm making my homemade sweet potato pie. So this is actually my revised recipe that I uploaded back in 2012. Um, I still use ginger, cinnamon, and all the other good stuff. I just really had to do this recipe over because my video is so outdated. So let's get right into the recipe. So here is my stand mixer. I will be using it because it makes everything easy for me. And I'm going to start off making my crust. So we're going to pour in or sprinkle in some all-purpose flour. I'm also going to sprinkle in some granulated sugar. I like a nice flavorful sweet crust for my pies. I added in a little bit of salt. And now I'm going to add in some frozen butter that I shredded up. When you shred the butter up, it makes it easier to uh, mix in and incorporate everything. So yeah, that's why I did it. So here is my butter flavored shortening. I'm going to add in some vanilla. Oh, don't skip out on that vanilla in the crust. It makes everything so good. And now I'm going to pour in some ice water. Don't forget to make sure that water is ice water. I'm now going to mix everything until it forms into a dough. And once it does, I'm going to remove it out of my stand mixer and I'm going to flatten it out and divide it. Is That's what I'm doing now. By the way, I'm making a lot of crust because I'm going to be making uh, another pie, but that's, that doesn't have anything to do with this recipe, but I just wanted you to know that's why there's so much crust. And now I'm going to place this in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. You can actually put this in the refrigerator for about three to five days before you make a pie. So now we're going to work on our pie filling. You're going to need a pound of sweet potatoes. You're going to wash and peel them, then you're going to chop them. I actually rinse them again before tossing them into my pot. So there they are, nicely rinsed, and I'm going to toss them in the pot. So don't forget, if you have not already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And now I'm going to pour in enough water to cover up my sweet potatoes. I'm going to boil the sweet potatoes until they're nice and tender, just like this. You see that? Mm-hmm. They're practically falling apart. That's what you want. And now I drained the sweet potatoes. So after draining them, I let them cool down completely. And now I'm going to place them into my stand mixer. I have my whisk attachment and I want to whip up these sweet potatoes until they are nice and creamy. No lumps. I want them nice and creamy just like that. So once I have reached that point, I'm ready to start adding in my other ingredients. I'm going to start off with one large egg that is at room temperature. I'm going to sprinkle in some granulated sugar. This is a really easy recipe, you guys. And now we're going to sprinkle in some ground cinnamon, some ground nutmeg, and my secret ingredient that I've been using for years, ground ginger. Again, I uploaded this recipe back in August 2012. That recipe or video is still up, so check it out if you want to. And now I'm going to pour in some vanilla extract. You can use regular vanilla or uh, bourbon vanilla. And now I'm pouring in some um, evaporated milk. I added in some butter that is at room temperature, it's not melted, and I'll show you why. I'm going to mix everything, or should I say whisk everything, until it is nice and airy. I know that sounds funny for a pie filling, but I find that when you whip it up like this, it makes your filling, or once it's done, your pie is going to be so smooth and silky. Trust me, you'll see at the end, it really works. So once everything was done, mixing up and all that other good stuff, I took the crust out of my refrigerator, I flattened it out, and I placed it into a nine inch cake pan. Not cake pan, pie pan. We're not making cake. So now I'm going to grab a fork, and I'm going to poke some holes at the bottom of my pie dish, and I also poke the sides. And I'm going to place this in the oven on 325 for 20, no, 10 minutes. 20 minutes would be way too long. 10 minutes. And you just wanna crisp up the crust a little bit before adding in the filling. So now we're ready to add in the filling. I did turn the heat up to 350, so my oven is being preheated to 350 at this time. And now we're going to smooth out the filling, okay? Make sure it's nice and even and looks great or as good as you can get it. And now we're ready to place this into the oven. So again, it's on 350 Fahrenheit and we're going to bake this for 45 to 50 minutes. When it comes out, it's kind of ugly. It looks like this. It looks like bread. It does not look like pie at all. But let it sit for about 30 minutes or so and it will look like this. Okay, so let it cool down to your preference. I like mine at room temperature and then you're ready to dig in. Again, this is really easy to make. It makes the perfect Thanksgiving 
Christmas, whatever. It makes a perfect dessert anytime. If you want the exact measurements, visit my blog, I Heart Recipes. You can print it out from there. And again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you soon.